everybody, it's Billy and Anthony, S2K guys, back, you know what it is. If you guys are ready to rev the 9K, we got the mods today. That's right, that's right, Let's you go. know what it is. Anthony, what's the mod today? Hey, what do we got? What do we so got? So today we're going to be installing the um, Zoom Engineering 240mm Monaco mirror. It's in carbon fiber, black carbon fiber. So uh, we purchased that from Valve Motorsports and Renegade got it out to us. So shout out to them. Awesome, awesome. Now the difficulty rating for this mirror today is going to be, we're going to give it a 2 out of 10 as far as difficulty of install. Uh, one being changing your washer fluid, 10 being swapping the motor. This is not going to be bad at all. Uh, total time for the install is going to be right around 10 to 15 minutes, not bad at all. Yep. And what kind of tools we need to get this job done today? Yeah, um, the tools needed for this job are uh, pretty much simple. Phillips screwdriver, um, they provide you with an Allen key with the mounting bracket kit and an 8mm open-ended wrench to tighten down the lock nut for the mirror. Um, so you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about once we get through the uh, process of removing and installing the Renegade mirror. So, yeah. Awesome, awesome. Let's get to business, let's get to it, and let's see uh, what things look like in the rear view mirror. Yeah, let's get to it. Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and remove the OEM mirror. Pretty much. You need a Phillips head screwdriver, and there's one screw, uh, Phillips head screw that holds the mirror and the bracket on. So go ahead and you want to unscrew it counterclockwise, lefty loosey, righty tighty. For those of you that don't know, now you know. And now you just slide it back, and there the OEM mirror is off. So, and this is the mount that mounts to the windshield. So the zoom mirror actually came with a new mounting bracket as well that is able to be used with the zoom mirror. So next we're gonna wanna pop this plastic cover off cause we're gonna reuse this on the zoom mirror bracket. So we'll get that off and we'll show you what we got. All right guys, so we got the OEM mirror removed. So pretty much you wanna pop this plastic cover off the OEM mount because you're going to reuse it on the zoom mirror bracket and all it does is you just unclip it and as you can see that's the cap that's going to go on the new mirror so and there's like a little gasket on the OEM mirror that you want to reuse and put on the zoom mirror as well so and then pop this bracket back on so let's get to it all right guys so this is the bracket it came with. Well, it didn't come with it. You have to purchase it separately when you buy a zoom mirror. But we had to connect the mirror to the mount first. And all you do is screw this on clockwise. And if you can see here, there's actually a lock nut. So it's an eight millimeter lock nut. So you use a eight millimeter wrench, open-ended wrench, and kind of put this wherever you want it and tighten the lock nut down so this doesn't have the ability to turn left or right. But it does swivel once you have it locked down. So just like a normal mirror, you're able to swivel it. So now we're gonna install it to the mount that's on the windshield. And uh, they give you an Allen size key with the mounting bracket because there's an Allen key nut that tightens this down onto this bracket. All right, so you wanna hold the, the nut up so that this slides into that um, bracket on the windshield. So we're gonna do that, slide it in. And there, as you can see, it's flush. And tighten down this Allen key. You don't have much space to work with, but you're gonna have to do it slowly. I got a couple more threads tightening it. And all right. Nice and snug. Nice and snug. You don't want to over tighten it. All right. So I thought I was going to be able to use a OEM gasket with it, but it was having trouble fitting. So we tried removing the gasket and just putting the plastic piece up and actually fit a lot better. But we'll see um, if it vibrates loose or not. But if it falls off again, then you might want to consider like gluing this gasket back on and or getting a new one or using some type of uh, glue to hold that plastic cover. All it is is a plastic cover just to have a cleaner look um, for the mounting bracket. But yeah, that concludes our install for the zoom mirror. 
That's it. Let's get you guys some shots of this. Okay, everybody. We have Anthony's uh, rear view mirror here. This is just your typical stock OEM mirror. This is what it's looking like. This is obviously what we have. So with this, we did like it and we originally changed to the Broadway mirror, which looks like this. So everybody, this is the Broadway mirror. Anthony, how much was this mirror? Uh, I think it was what, like 20 bucks this, on Amazon or something like that? Yeah, this was like 20 bucks. This is, we thought this was great. It's actually got a great view and you can see like almost all three lanes because it's convex. But the unfortunate problem with this is from, from the back, it looks super cheesy and it just looks not good. It just looks ugly. <laughs> so unfortunately, it doesn't look it's good. good. It's good for like, if you want to see things, but yeah, cosmetically pleasing. Um, it's not terrible it's not from terrible. the front. It's not terrible. Especially for 20 bucks, it wasn't terrible, but we're about to go OG on them and we're gonna do the Renegade. So this was just a little bit before and after. And obviously the mirror looks better when my face is in it, so. <laughs> Now nah, this is the finished result of the zoom. It looks great. Loving the blue tint on there. Let me get you guys from the side here. It looks great. Awesome, awesome, awesome. This is from the back. It looks great. It looks really, really great. Uh, super beautiful. It looks super clean. I, I like the carbon fiber a lot, it looks good. I actually also p purchased the same one. So, uh, so Ant, for 300 bucks, 50 bucks for the bracket and like $250 for the mirror, you think it's worth it? Does it make the worth it list? I believe it makes the worth it list. Um, as you can see in the video, it looks just physically, aesthetically pleasing. The carbon fiber in black looks awesome um, compared to the OEM. And then I mentioned I had the Broadway mirror um, before. before. So the from the outside and on the inside, the, this zoom mirror looks Phenomenal. Awesome. I'm super happy with it. So. Uh, I think as far as for me, if I were to buy it, I think that uh, I would go ahead and say yes, I would, and would have to buy one, uh, considering I already bought one. Uh, so we're It's gonna, actually in the box right it's now. It's in we the just, box. Yeah. We got it. Uh, but yeah, I think, it's, I think it was a super, super great thing for what it is for 300 bucks. Changed the uh, great look of the car. Uh, it looks really nice. Uh, the blue tint's really nice. So, I think it compares to the OEM and the Broadway one that you originally had. Well, I must say the Broadway had a good uh, view. When you're sitting in the car, as Billy mentioned earlier in the video, you're able to see a lot with the Broadway mirror yeah, because sure, it's a sure. wider angle. But with the zoom mirror, it kind of brings that visibility down to a minimum, almost like the OEM mirror. Um, but. Like I said, it physically, aesthetically looks pleasing. It looks great. The, car, the black carbon fiber is, uh, it makes a great touch to the interior um, when you pair it with the rest of the Renegade stuff. So, you know, I, I think for, you know, the money and the look of it, I, I would recommend it to others. Awesome, awesome. So pretty much that's our video guys. That's our review, our feedback on it. You guys know how bad it is to install, how it compares to OEM and the Broadway, and just how it looks and what to expect when you're getting this thing. So stay tuned for more videos guys. Subscribe, like, and comment. We will see you guys on the next video. And thank you so much for all your support. See you later guys. Thank you.